Okay, back to the questions. If you were offered one million dollars to stay up for seventy two hours, done deal. How would you pass the time? And do anything? Anything. It just says, "How would you pass the time?" I just do the same thing that I'd be doing now. Just work. I'll I'll put myself on. Bro, see, but here's the thing: it's an endurance race. Yeah. Have you ever spent seventy two hours, three days, no sleep? I think my first. So three days. So I think my, absolutely no sleep, no yeah, naps. Yeah. Okay. So I I think my first two days I could keep myself busy with work. I could do. Oh, that's gonna be tough. I think I should do the harder tasks towards the end. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because again, so, endurance. Like yeah, yeah. you can start you can start off the time strong. Yeah. Right? But if you put in like two twelve hour shifts. I'm gonna do that towards the end then. Yeah. Like at least you're forced to yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be moving. So for me, I think I have the most drive is when I am when I'm under pressure to complete something. So kind of like work, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, even if you're exhausted, it's like, I got to get this done. So I need to find something that's going to like, kind of like hold me accountable for time. Because, I mean, recently I've had insomnia and, and my, my sleep schedule's all over the place where like I'm awake sometimes for like 24 hours, but I'm not doing anything. Like during the day, like I'm productive and stuff, but like in the late hours of the night, I'm just sitting there like on my phone just... And, like, I'm passing out. Like, I'm trying to fall asleep. It's just no. like, I can't sleep. But I don't want to be in that position where it's like, because I could fall asleep. I, I lose a mill. Yeah, you don't want to fight that. Exactly. I would have to be like, I, I think my last, like, leg of, like, that 24, 48 hours, I would have to be with people. Yeah. I would have to hang out with someone. I can't be by myself, like, to, especially towards the end of the night. Mm-hmm. I would have to be with someone. No, I get that. I- Definitely, but I could do. I would be able to do it. I could. I could say that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like for me, as long as I'm not driving, I don't. I ain't going to. As long it. as I'm not driving. <laughs> now, if, now, if it said seventy-two hours staying awake driving, nah, nah, no, nah, I'm dying. I'm dying nah. first night. First, for, yeah, first. first night, I'm dying. <laughs> Bro, the amount of times where I was tired like that, yeah, and like you get the security bumps on the road to let you know, hey, you're veering off. Oh my god! It's actually there was one. It was so scary. Actually, it's funny. It was after the American Idol audition. Oh shit! Remember that twenty ten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I like, like uh, we were up late. We were trying to figure out a song that I wanted to sing. It was the night before, or after the night before. Oh, okay, okay. The right. night before, so like you stayed over my place so we could just drive there. And I remember that. When yeah. I was still living in the apartment off okay. of the sixty, and um, Country Village Road. Yep. We had done something, like, we were up the full day, and then, like, we were up until, like, 2, but we had to get up at 4 so we can get to LA LA at 5, and it was fucking cold. It was cold as shit in the morning, and, you know, like, oh, it sucks because cause I was starting to feel, like, ill the night before. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, let me let me pop a night so I can actually get some rest. But it didn't digest until we were on the road oh, shit. to there. So, and then we were we were up from like four in the morning, uh, like pretty much running on like two hours of sleep. And the way that I, oh, man, I was so fucking mad. That whole experience was shit. That whole experience for auditioning for American Idol was shit because I remember we went there the day before. That's why we were so exhausted because we had to get there early the day before so we, I could pre-register and have a seat. We sure did go there before. Yeah. So we we did that the day before, and then I had to find money, recycle <sighs> cans or something, to have gas to go back and forth again, because that was an L.A. drive. Fast forward. Do you remember what we ate before uh, before the audition? I don't. I'm trying to remember, because I remember I, we had some kind of burgers, American food. I got myself a milkshake, and I offered if you wanted one too or something like that and you go no can't have the milkshake this is what i learned he's like you can't have like dairy yeah like in the throat, in the throat. Cause it's it, uh, i think it's the fat content or something it just lines the throat and makes it really um like uh it just that's why yeah the- like and I, I noticed that like when you have like dairy or anything like that you're you're you have like more it's like more of a mucusy like yeah, uh, exactly. like that really thick yeah, yeah. 
And I was just like, oh. And I'm over here like, oh, maybe I should be drinking this. But I was just like, wait a minute. I'm not. I'm not auditioning. <laughs> I'm not auditioning with this shit. I'm not singing this shit. <laughs> and then because I was nervous, it was cold. We were, sit- uh, we were sitting in the auditorium. And the way that they lined it up, we were sitting like, like for those of you guys watching, auditorium is round. It's almost like a stadium. Like in the oval, right? Oval. I'm like right here, this side. And pretty much all of the all of the seats are filled, right? So from here, they start in the section right beside me. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm coming next. Fuck no. They go the opposite way around, and I'm literally the last <laughs> fucking group. Dude, I remember that shit was just what's the, I can't uh, what's the word for it? Dreadful. It Irritated. dreadful. It was ag- agonizing. Dude, like we were fucking bro. Me and him were like on our last leg of just we were just yeah. No, we were both passing out, and I tried to stay awake. I'm like, oh god, I don't, I don't want like to to get like like fucked up, uh, like even more. Like, so, like, it's funny because, like, I wanted to keep my voice warm, but in doing so, I, like, again, we were up since five, and I'm sitting there humming and shit, and then, like, we get to the auditorium, and we're a little bit more relaxed, and I'm like, okay, well, let me find a corner, and, like, I'm, on, I'm like, practicing singing and shit, and, uh, like, because I was so nervous, I kept practicing, like, what song should I sing? What what what's, what what should I do? This that, what were your other songs that you were gonna sing? So there was the song that I auditioned was "With You" by Chris and those of you guys that know me back in the day, "With You" was the song that was like my go to. He was like, the like Pil- even now, like I'll still sing it. He was like the Filipino Chris Brown, and now I ate the Filipino Chris Brown. He's the Christopher. I ate him. And- <laughs> he's, he's, he's the Christopher Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I am Christopher Bautista. <laughs> it's like if a Filipino, it's like it's like a Filipino black dude. <laughs> Christopher Bautista Brown. Who the hell? <laughs> but so that's the song I auditioned with. Obviously, I didn't get through. And in retrospect, I do think that was a bad Boo. song choice because it was 2010, shortly after the Chris Brown Rihanna incident. Oh, that's where he had the hit. So, it still hurts. I think one of the very, like the very dark humor jokes. That one still hurts still just a, just a little bit. It does. <laughs> you wonder why that that those ones really hurt? Because I'm a fan of Chris Brown. <laughs> I'm a really big fan of Chris Brown. I can't say that I've listened to every album, but there was a point where I knew every song on every album up until um, uh, "Fan of a Fan." We got done with the audition. We laughed. We're like, all right, fuck it. Let's just. Let's go spend time with our girls. I drop you off. To your girl at the time. Uh, all right, cool. I'm going to go kick it with my girl, <laughs> Selena. And I was driving. This is circling back to the, to the whole uh, 72 hour thing. So I'm driving to her house and I'm on a two way street. I was in the right lane. I'm driving. I don't even realize I'm falling asleep. I, when I open my eyes, I'm in the left lane. I don't know how. That shit's scary, bro. Bro. I just... <clears throat> and there are cars around me. Jesus I was fucking Christ. lost, bro. So scary. And there have been times where it's like... Like, when I was living in Victorville, and I was driving from City Industry to Victorville, there would be times where I'm driving. Like, late at night, it's like... It's like, all right, cool. I'm on the 15. I'm about to get to Summit. And then all of a sudden, I'm at, like... Like the co- the middle of the cone pass. Yeah, the middle of the cone. Bro, pass. that's that shit, bro. Bro, it's like how the fuck did I get here? When I used to work that knock shift at FedEx, and then I'd be working that knock shift like seven to seven, and that drive to Victorville, mm. it was tough. Oh, bro, I can imagine. I'll never forget when you know, like you know, seven what to seven. You you go up the hill seven in the morning. Yeah. Oh, so it was it was pretty clear going out. It was up, pretty right? clear going out. Yeah, on the way down. So on the way, trash. yeah. I remember this one time where I think I was just t- like I was just kind of like thugging it through, and then I think like four o'clock hit, five o'clock hit. The the floor manager was like, "Hey, we got no more orders. If who wants to stay overtime, stay overtime. Um, anyone that doesn't, like y'all can go home." I was like, "I'm going home. I'm tired." <laughs> Tied. <laughs> Tied. So T I E D. Tied. <laughs> so we I'm going up and I just remember 
just falling asleep at the wheel. Just dig, dig, dig. And windows are up. My shirt was off at one point. <laughs> I was trying to get what, maximum what time, cold. What, what time of the year was this? This was because uh, um, I, was, I was out of my warehouse job. I was yep. already out of uh, Sweet Teas. Yep. So I was there for uh, winter. It was a holiday. I wanted You holiday. drove up the Cajon Pass shirtless with your window down. I was trying to stay away. Bro, dog. you are a madman. <laughs> and you I remember are an icicle. I remember that was a, that was a common thing for me to do to stay awake was fop. Mine was just window down. <laughs> Here I am. Sleep all the way up. <laughs> with you, with me, with me. <laughs> <laughs> my thing was just window down. Hold the shirt. Nah. And like, that'll be it. And if it wasn't cold enough, I'd pour water. My ass needs to be in hypothermia before so I could just stay away. And this one. Shivering is what kept you awake. (laughs) And the sleep was hitting because I remember I was over here just. That was definitely hypothermia. You were passing. And I remember, you you know, like when you're about to hit that first exit, uh, like Asperia, like beforehand, like where it gets really foggy up that hill. I hate that part. Right. And I'll never forget me. F- I was. I told myself like, stay awake, stay awake, because there's that ledge. You know where there's like there's mountains sometimes off to the right, mm-hmm. but there's that small gap where you could just yeah. fly off. Yeah. And I remember just staying awake, staying. And I remember seeing it to my right, like fuck, and that woke me up for a good five minutes. Within that five minutes, I gassed it to the middle and until I could hit my exit of Bear Valley. Yeah. Once I made it home, put that bitch in park, put my seat back, blanket. Or jacket, I was just knocked you, out. You slept in your car? Slept in my car. Wait, you didn't even make it home? I, 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 made, it my, I made it to the house, but I was too tired to get, to out, get out and go inside. <laughs> and I knocked out. I was like, no, nah, I can't do That's this. That's how anymore. you know you're tired. Okay. I said, I can't do this anymore. And I, and I slept. And I dreamt about me driving that drive yeah. and flying off the cliff and me going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I've had that same fucking dream, though. And I go, okay, <laughs> time to go inside. I was like, made sure I had the keys in my hand. It's not in the ignition. I was like, all right, we're good. <laughs> went went back home, slept. And I think that the week after I quit. Yeah? Yeah, I just couldn't do it anymore. Uh, oh, hell yeah, that knocks you to Jesus. Just couldn't do it. No, see what, when, uh, before I started working at GI, I was working at um, uh, a makeup distrib- distributing company. And uh, time started at 8 a.m. And to get there on time from the Cajon Pass traffic, I would need to leave at like 5 in the morning. Yeah, I remember, so yeah, yeah. Always terrible. I'd go down there. I'd get to work at like 7.30. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Like, I'll just go sit at my desk. And sometimes, like, my manager would come in like, oh, you're here early. I'm like, I live in Sacramento. It's either I'm here 30 minutes to an hour early or I'm late. Always for two hours. Yeah, exactly. Best. <laughs> yeah. So then, my my drive. See, with yours, I would say the knock shift is better for in terms of traffic. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah terrible yeah. in terms of hours. It's terrible because if because you're supposed to be sleeping at that time yeah. after a twelve hour shift and like going to school. So like I remember, I was just sleep was like very crucial at that time. Yeah. But yeah, for you, it's tougher because like. You have to beat the drive. No, yeah. Because whenever I was driving on the road, it was always going to be traffic no matter what. So what I would do to pass time for traffic when I was working there, before it used to be like stop by Sweet Tea's because I'd have to pick Francis, help you guys out with whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that was easy because by the time y'all closed, it was like 9 o'clock. I'm like, all right, cool. Traffic's gone. Go on yeah, the road. Yeah. After that, uh, I'd go to the Jack in the Box off of um, off of Baseline in the 15. I'd just go into the parking lot. I'd knock out there. I'd knock out there. And then I'd wake up and like, all right, cool. But then there was a point where my car was dying. Uh, I think it was the radiator or the mm-hmm. alternator. No, it wasn't the alternator. Alternator is for energy. It was, it was something in the car where it would stop accelerating. Or, like, it would be very slow. I'm like, I'm talking like pedal on the floor. Oh, wow. Like, and I'm sitting there going like 10, 15 miles an hour. So I would have to take side streets from City Industry to Rancho, sit there, let the car cool off. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like reset. I <clears> drive <throat> from the 15 and I'd exit, um, you know, a- after uh, the 215 uh, and 15 split, there's a side road there that can lead you yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much to is the. That, is that, that Kenwood? Not Kenwood. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. 
It's it's that side road. Oh, Glen Glen Way Parkway or whatever. Glen Helen. It's past Parkway. that. Oh, okay, so it's okay. it's ru- it's the exit right after the the, the merge. Turn. Yeah, I, right I know, after the okay. merge. So I exit there, and it's 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 old, uh, old Route sixty six. Okay, okay. So, uh, it's literally like a like two lanes uh road. Yeah. I'd pull off into the dirt, and I'd sit there for like another hour or so for my car to like cool down again, and then I would drive up the hill. Even after doing that, and by that point, it's like eight thirty at night. Uh. Going up the steepest part of the Cohen Pass, I'm literally in the slow lane with emergency lights on going like 20 miles an hour. Jeez. Trying to climb up the hill. And I did yeah. that for like a good like two, three months before I was like, fuck, I need a new car. Yeah. You know, driving at night. That went, we went on a tangent, bro. <laughs> that was a, that was a whole tangent. We, don't, don't drive at night, kids. <laughs> yeah, be, be smart. If you need to sleep, pull over. Pull over. If you're falling asleep, don't don't risk it just to get home. But her parents aren't home. Well, yeah, and you, you, and you won't be home. You'll be in heaven too. <laughs> Circling back to the original question, seventy-two hours awake. I would be able to do it. That's a good ninety percent chance I'd be able to thug it through. Knowing myself, by the by the time I hit the thirty-six hour mark, all conscious actions are questionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. any anything that I say. Cannot be used against me in a court of law. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, like I am incoherent. Uh, sanity is questionable. Very oh, questionable. Especially if I'm at work and it. Nah, you know it's all good. I got people that got my back. <laughs> I'll say some wild shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with, like, with what you do now, yeah. <laughs> like, like for me, if I go into work, I'm just like, yeah, don't don't. If I, if I say something and I agree to it, in this time frame, I, after the 24 hour mark. You can't hold me liable. You can't. You really can't. But I think my plan would be to... Okay, so you don't want to take... You don't want to be just be chugging energy drinks the whole time. You're going to die off a cannon. You're going to have heart. But um, what I do is I, I thug it through the first day as normal. Second day, I pop the first energy drink. Maybe not even in the morning. Toward the afternoon. Because even if I'm exhausted during the day, I can stay awake. Yeah. So I'd stay awake. Dug it through until it started getting tired around like the afternoonish, whenever that may be. And then once I get into the second night, uh, I'm I'm gonna have to find something that I can just allow my body to rest. I might have to pick up like a knock shift. <laughs> you think you do you do second night uh, work? I think I would do a knock shift second. I'm sorry, go ahead, continue that. I'm trying to. I'm thinking yeah, out loud. How I did. So honestly, for me. At that point, I'm thinking, okay, let me find a way so my body can relax, but my mind is still active. Yeah. So I'd probably literally just like go, like turn the brain off and just like play video games. Yeah. Like, I mean, if needed, like I could like record gameplay footage or something. Yeah, so yeah. there's like the mental like like liability. So like I feel responsible and I'm not nodding off. Um. But I don't know how long I'll be able to do that for. Honestly, coming into the last 24 hours, I think that's going to be the hardest part. That's when I would want to work. But at the same time, it's not the best condition of working. Mm-hmm. You're just doing it. It's going to be drained. Just to be moving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just to be moving. Man, 72 hours is rough. If you really dissect it, it sounds... Yeah, no, no, no. I know, I know. I, I know the last, the last day will be hard for me, for sure. <clears throat> you want to do a challenge? Which is? So, some two hours. So stay awake. Fudge. <laughs> but there's no million dollars at the end. So I yeah. can't be. <laughs> We're going to be millionaires out that video, my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it. Someone can sponsor us. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Red Bull? Monster? <laughs> Rise? Huh? Starbucks? Coffee? Anybody? <laughs> Caffeine? Hello? <laughs> okay. So, how would you do it? Try to go uh, per day. I would, my first day would just be doing nothing but relaxing things. I would have to like literally like figure something where I am busy, but it's not strenuous where I'm tired, but it's still uh, like very stimulating to my, my brain. So I think yeah. it's very tough for me because I have to be up and about. I can't sit here. Like you, you, you'll you see me play games, but then I'll be tired after that. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, I just can't, I'd be burnt. I don't know. Like I just. I just gotta be out with friends. I just gotta. I gotta. 
find something. Yeah, I'll go golfing with the homies for the first like what, half what, hour of the day. What twenty four hour activity outside of working out could you do? What's open twenty four hours? Nothing's open twenty four hours anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Big damn! Ve- actually, Vegas. You would possibly actually twenty staying awake in Vegas might be easier. Why might be a lot more easier? Actually, because you lose your your sense of time. You do uh, like just. But like, then I would be. Uh, but the defeating part is, oh, I think I blew like six hours, and then it's only like three. Yeah, but it could work either way. It, it definitely can. I think yeah. I think if you're in a place that like if it's like if you're in a city that never sleeps, like if you're like New York. If I was in New York, I probably would be able to do it because then I could like like just find shit to do, yeah. free shit to do. In New York. For me, I think like you know, just like maybe just record video, take pictures, take a lot of pictures, yeah. edit them. Okay, I can't, I can't eat for free, but like there's, yeah. it's, but like I would probably be able to do that. But I'm not in, I'm not You're neither not in. But Vegas is down the street compared to New York. Down the street is a stretch, my boy. <laughs> compared to New York, and Vegas is like right there. So yeah. I fudge. That's rough. That's really. Rough I think fun. my okay. So I think like my first day, I would like, I probably go golfing. That's nice and strenuous. I was gonna say the beach after, but the beach. You just... Beach is relaxing. Yeah, <laughs> I can't lie. I actually, can I can sleep. I can sleep after the beach. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so golf would probably be taking up like tea time, seven o'clock. We'd be done by like twelve if we take our time, right? Have a nice lunch after. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is this is what? only the first twelve hours. What am I? My ass like, and then take a nap after. <laughs> 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 and done. Yeah. Um, and we'll take that million dollars back. Yeah, that's that's gonna be. I think I would still have to work towards those days because work can be pretty relaxing. But I would. I I think it's. I think my last like okay, my first forty eight hours I can do being awake. That last twenty four, I'd have to be in Vegas. You would have to be. In Vegas. I'd probably. I, th- I think Vegas would be the move. Getting there? Uh, yeah, I was to, that was about to say. <laughs> but then the, I don't have to be alone. I can have homies that drive, and I just talk to them throughout the like you know talk to you throughout the whole drive well, there. Let's say if I do it by myself. Oh uh, yeah. Let's say outside of work, like outside of people that you have to interact with, mm-hmm. you can't have friends. Okay, I'm still a sociable person. I can just talk, just chop it up with people. No, 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 no. You're just not allowed to. You're only allowed to talk to people when it's required. Like, okay. if you're ordering food yeah, yeah, yeah. or if you're at work. But then if I'm there, I'm just, like, sitting alone. Yeah. Oh, then I'll just talk to the homie. Right, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, my man! <laughs> I've been doing that sometimes. I'm like, the demons be winning, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Exactly. That's what he said. It's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, just especially after the like after the second day, just delirious and talking to the vo- talking to oh, oh for sure, just full on conversations. <laughs> <laughs> See, Vegas, you you'd be safe doing that, yeah, for sure. Because if you were doing that out here, like like at a Denny's, oh, you get the cops calling you. Uh... I see. I see people talk to themselves out of fucking uh, Corky's. <laughs> is Corky's, well, Corky's is an open twenty four. Yeah, are they really? They used to be. I don't know right now, but I see them talking to themselves twenty four hours. God damn! At Denny's late night, if you saw someone talking to themselves, yeah, that's just late night activity. I'll just let them be. Yeah. As long as you're gonna pay the bill, I how guess. about it? I mean, yeah, if they're not a disturbance, I guess. Yeah. Like, but do you, if I was to do seventy two hours by myself, no interaction socially, I wouldn't do it. I will. I will decline right up front. Really? Yeah. I thought you'd have been the other way around. Like, All right, cool. I'm scheduling them shifts. <laughs> oh, you mean like like I work? Like I can still work and everything? You can still work and and talk to people at work, but you can't socialize. So it's like, hey, I need to get the, this medication for this patient, yeah, yeah. or I need to. But then, what about if a patient wants to talk to me? Because that, that's how. Well, that's. I would say that's technically work. Oh, then she and I can, because <laughs> they talk to me all day. Now, do I choose to interact with them or back? That's the that depends. But if it's solely on, because you know, I, that's my 
that's what I could lean on. Yeah, that's a fine line, though. That you because, see, that's what I'm saying. Because you're supposed to, you're supposed to be talking to them. <laughs> I, but if I, they're just rambling. I wear a shock collar, and you're like watching the camera scene, like if you see this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I thought about suicide. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk about that. <laughs> Just on the intercom. Get to work. <laughs> oh, sorry. Get, next. <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just want to talk about... I just, I just miss my family, dog. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have to... I, I could do 72 hours with the lifestyle and like everything still staying the same. Now, if you took out the social aspect of it, I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, Even I work because, yeah, there are times where like People just don't want to talk, and I understand that. So, well, see, it's funny because <clears throat> you know how they say, like, oh, you're an extrovert, you're an introvert. There's all this other shit. For a period of time, I thought I was, um, well, I forget what's called, omnivert, or it's like you can be extroverted and introverted. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm an introvert that can be extroverted. No, I'm not an omnivert. Uh, there are times where I do want to be. Like active and social, hang out with friends, kicking and stuff. But majority of the time, it's like, well, I have nothing to do. I'm fine being alone. Yeah, being quiet by myself, letting my mind wander. I'm okay with it. So it, I think it's just really the boredom aspect of this of the time period. So yes, I like being alone, but the reason I seek human interaction. Is because I'm bored. Yeah. It's like I want to do something or I want to be mentally stimulated. So, it's trying to find the <clears throat> actual definition of omnivert. People who experience extremes in introversion and extroversion. Unlike ambiverts, uh -huh. what the omniverts have trouble balancing outgoingness and shyness. As a result, they can seem like they have a dual personality depending on the situation they're in. I can see that because there are times where I am out and I don't want to be an extrovert. And it's only because solely because <clears throat> it's not my setting. And I just don't know how to that like act. thrive in it. Yeah. Exactly. I, have to, I have to be in a circle of people where I can fully trust. And then regard, I don't care about judgment or anything like that. I could just like, I can solely I, like, I, I can confide them or I, I can mess with them. Now, if I don't, know those people i'll just be quiet for the like no offense to them respect jesus i know jesus god's, <laughs> god's like hey man shut up <laughs> you're talking too much <laughs> but no i i i get that what the frick is a centrovert okay now it's just too much this is too much for i'm not i'm an omnivore arr, 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 arr. Arr, i'm an omnivore but guys let us know what you would do to keep yourself awake for 72 hours if you could win a million dollars. I do drugs. <laughs> crack cocaine would be the first one. Stop it. No, the first we... 24 hours on crack cocaine would be great. Just kidding. Don't do drugs. Yeah, I was about to say. Obviously, he's joking, guys. But if don't do drugs. But what would you do to pass the time for 72 hours to win $1 million? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more content. Give us a thumbs up because we're trying to you know increase our reach. Um, other than that, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.